This video is about neutralisation. Neutralisation is a reaction between an acid and a base and it forms salt and water only. This is a video of a neutralisation reaction that I'm doing. I'm using universal indicator to show that I've got acid, hydrochloric acid in this case, in the conical flask and then I'm adding alkali, sodium hydroxide, a little bit at a time. You can see the sodium hydroxide being added. You can see slightly dark patches in the universal indicator. Then when I swirl it, it mixes in. It takes a long time for that pH to change, for it to change to be neutral. Then slowly the pH starts to creep up. It's a little bit at a time. Slightly more orange there. And it turns to yellow, two drops, and it becomes an alkali. You can see that you have to have real precise amounts of acid and alkali if you're going to get an exactly neutral solution. The video shows that adding the alkali to the acid neutralises that acid, turning it into salt and water only, and leaving less behind so the pH increases. Eventually it will be neutral. And then adding more alkali just means that the solution remains alkali. The general equation for a neutralisation reaction is acid plus base, or alkali, gives salt and water. And we can see that the salt and the water must be neutral because neither of them donate hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions. What you have to be able to do is use the name of the acid and the base to work out what the name of the salt is going to be. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at all the salts that are made in these examples. We have sodium chloride, lithium chloride, sodium sulfate and lithium sulfate. So what makes the difference between the sodium and the lithium? And what makes the difference between chloride and sulfate? Let's look at the reactants to see if we can work that out. Well, we have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide means that we get sodium chloride. The lithium hydroxide means we get lithium chloride. Sodium hydroxide, sodium sulfate. Lithium hydroxide, lithium sulfate. So it seems that it's the alkali that gives us the first part of the salt. Whereas the acid, we have hydrochloric acid, we get sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid, lithium chloride, whereas sulfuric acid gives us sodium sulfate. Sulfuric acid, lithium sulfate. It's the acid that gives us the second part of the salt. Let's highlight that to make it clear. So in our alkali, we have sodium hydroxide for sodium chloride, lithium, lithium, and so on. We can see these highlighted Whereas our acid, the chloric will give us chloride and the sulfuric acid will give us sulfate. If we have nitric acid, then our salt will end up being a nitrate. If we had magnesium hydroxide, then our salt would be magnesium something magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, magnesium nitrate. And always, in all of these examples, we have water being made. So in summary, you need to remember that an acid plus a base, also known as an alkali, would give us a salt and a water. The name of that salt comes from the acid and the base that's being used. If it's hydrochloric acid, then that base will be something chloride. Sulfuric acid, it will be something sulfate. Nitric acid, it will be something nitrate. And phosphoric acid, it will be something phosphate. The first part of the salt's name will be the metal, and that metal will come from the name of the base. Hope that makes sense. Good luck. 